Hey guys, well it's finally back, the 2013 AFL season is upon us, it's going to start very very shortly, I'm actually absolutely excited to watch tonight's game, Adelaide Nesson. So of course as I said in my last video, I was going to do some, uh, my weekly tips, um, just, just for a bit of fun and uh, I guess to help other people out with their tips, so yeah, it should, should be lots of fun and um, I'll get straight into it and start off with the first game. I will do this the whole of round one, even though there's only two games on this weekend and the other seven are on next weekend, which I think is a bit silly, but uh, whatever the AFL decides to do, I suppose. I'm not going to question them. So, the first game we've got tonight, we've got Adelaide and Essendon. So, these are two really competitive sides. Uh, I think they both really look good on paper, but... Mainly because it's at Amy Stadium, I think Adelaide will win. Uh, I think they'll win by about nine points. It's just a rough estimate, but I remember last time it was four points of difference at Amy Stadium, and Adelaide nearly lost to the Bombers. I couldn't believe that, but yeah, they were very competitive last time. Obviously, because Essendon really needed to win that game, and it didn't quite happen. But yeah, they generally do pretty well against each other, like. You never really know who's going to win. Like many teams are just very tough to tip. So, so I think uh, Adelaide will win this one by nine points. Next game we've got is Fremantle and West Coast. Uh, the good old derby as they call it, or derby. I don't even know how to pronounce it properly. You, this is just another clash you can never really be too sure because they seem to trade wins. One team wins uh, one derby, derby. <laughs> and then... Uh, it, yeah, the opposite team wins the next time, so I don't know if it always goes like that, but it generally does seem to be the case. Like West Coast won earlier on in the year last year, and then Fremantle thrashed them, came out of the blocks and thrashed them uh, in the later game later on in the year. And a lot of people are tipping West Coast to win this one because they're obviously uh, going in as favourites at about a uh, dollar seventy. And Fremantle about two dollars fifteen. I think Fremantle can win this one. Uh, that, I think their side just looks a little bit better on paper. I mean, on paper it looks nice, but it's not always practical. It's just a matter of which side they can actually uh, capitalise their opportunities really, and they will generally win. So for this game, we're going to tip Fremantle by twenty four points. The next game is the good old Thursday night clash with uh, Carlton and Richmond. Another really tough clash, and round one is always tough to choose. Uh, Carlton always seem to have the the wood over Richmond. They've only lost one once in the last oh, nine or ten games they've played. So uh, Carlton generally seem to do all right against them. And obviously last year, Brock McLean, <laughs> he would have um, absolutely loved the goal he kicked that basically won in the game uh, against the Tigers. And I thought Richmond would would actually win that one, but not to be. And of course, you know two different well, two different sides this year. We've got Mick Malthouse uh, with the Blues now, and, and obviously some very handy inclusions for Richmond. So a very tough one to choose. I'm going to go with Carlton by 16 points on this one. However, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Richmond managed to cause a bit of an upset because, well, they've got. I reckon it might be their year that they actually make the top eight, even though I tipped them to finish ninth and later, but yeah, that's my tip for this game anyway. The next game we've got is the Western Bulldogs and the Brisbane Lions, and the Lions certainly impressed in the NAB Cup, winning, obviously winning the NAB Cup Grand Final by 40 points, so a comprehensive win there, and Brisbane even surprised me last year when they played the Bulldogs at uh, Etihad Stadium, and I think they won by about oh, nine goals or something like that, so... That was pretty surprising, and basically based off of that, I almost think Brisbane will be a shoe-in to win again as well. The Dogs, I expect them to be pretty competitive, but um, I think Brisbane will be too strong with, with their side, and they tend to play uh, quite well away also these days. So they are getting better rather than just winning at the Gabba. So with this game, I'll tip Brisbane to win by 32 points. Now we've got GWS and Sydney. Well, you wouldn't really tip GWS in this one. I think they're at thirteen dollars uh, to one. So I think yeah, Sydney will obviously have the experience, have the strength to uh, get across the line. I'm thinking by about seventy points. I was probably going to go more, but I'll 
GWS showed okay signs in the NAB Cup, and I don't think they'll be blown out as much as what people may think, but uh, they could even lose by 120 points. You just don't know. So, yeah, Sydney by 70 points uh, for mine. And we've got Gold Coast in, against St Kilda at Metricon Stadium. People are probably expecting Gold Coast to give the Saints a good go, and I think the Saints were, were about $1.25 um, to beat the, uh, beat the Suns. So... It's not, it's not going to be an absolute shoe in for the Saints because you know Gold Coast are starting to become a bit more competitive and obviously you know they bet Carlton at Metricon Stadium last year, so yeah I expect the Saints to be probably fine to win. Um, not by a whole lot though, or what people may expect them to win by, but uh, I've gone uh, with this one uh, for the Saints to win by twenty six points. At the MCG we have Melbourne up against Port. Uh, Melbourne are obviously coming in as favourites and have had a lot, a lot of handy inclusions, but I think Port will actually win this one uh, as as a bit of an upset. I think they're two dollars twenty five to win, and Melbourne are about a dollar sixty five. So obviously Melbourne are the favourites, but Port generally go all right at the MCG. They obviously I think about two or three years ago they uh, bet the Tigers only by ten points, which is at the MCG last round. And obviously they drew with the Tigers at the MCG last year, so they, they don't mind the MCG. Well, I'm not sure if it's they don't mind the MCG or they don't mind playing the Tigers, but yeah, they, they certainly can be competitive there. And even uh, against Collingwood last year, although it was at Etihad Stadium, they only won by four goals, even though it was early on in the year where Collingwood weren't quite firing up as they usually do. But yeah, I think Port will be competitive enough and... Uh, they might be able to get a win here, I think, by about six points. So that's my tip for this one. Now, here's a really tough one. North Melbourne up against Collingwood and Etihad Stadium. Obviously, last year you would have seen uh, North Melbourne beating Collingwood by 30 points at, at the same venue. So they certainly don't, don't mind uh, Etihad Stadium, the Kangaroos. And obviously, Collingwood would have loved this game at the MCG. However, well, the AFL's decided Etihad Stadium. Well, I think Collingwood's nap cut form was pretty decent, and whilst this game could go either way, I'm going to go with uh, Collingwood by 20 points on this one. They'll have a few players back, and obviously a few inclusions from uh, trading and uh, free agency, so yeah, really tough on this one, but I'm just going to say Collingwood, because I just think they're technically the better side, but but of course we'll find out uh, on the night who, who is the better side, so yeah, I'm tipping Collingwood by 20 points for this one. And the last game, oh, the Monday at Hawthorne against Geelong, well, it's probably the most anticipated game for just about every season. And I'm sure there's many other anticipated games, but not too many bigger than this one because it's people just are not sure. Can Geelong continue their uh, continue having the wood over the Hawks? Can they continue to break the Hawks' hearts? Uh, this is a really tough one. It can go either way, and... Hawks are favourites to win, but obviously I think Geelong can keep going. They've, they've got a fair bit of quality in their side, at least for round one. But And the Hawks obviously have had a few uh, well, knee injuries, it seems. Would, uh, wouldn't be surprised if either side win here, but uh, just for argument's sake, I'll go with Geelong by less than a kick, of course. I'll tip Geelong to win by three points in this one. So those are my tips for round one. Um, feel free to comment your tips for round one or whether you agree with mine or not. Um, I'm hoping I can do this weekly. I uh, would have done them last night, but obviously, yeah, had a bit of footy training. I got back home a bit late, so, yeah, I thought I'd do them now, hopefully before the first game, and hope your team wins for round one, and thank you for watching, and I will see you guys all next time.